Hi there, and welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. My name is Chris. I'm the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. I like to drink craft beer, I like to review craft beer, and I don't like to pay a whole lot of money doing it. So this channel is specifically for the purpose of finding craft beers, usually around the $2 price range. Uh, if you've never been to this channel before, welcome. If this is uh, a return visit for you, welcome back. Uh, today's selection is a uh, IPA uh, from a brewery with which I have a fair amount of familiarity. Um, it's rather popular here on the West Coast. This is the Can Oblis Tropical IPA from Oscar Blues Brewing, and they are out of, I want to say, yeah, there's one, one out of Colorado and one of the breweries out of Austin, out of Austin Texas. So they're, uh, so they're more of a, a, West, a Western uh, brewery. Uh, this particular can cost me a buck 99. It is just under two months old. IPA purists will tell you that an IPA shouldn't be more than 90 days old, so it's within that range. Super purists will tell you an IPA shouldn't be more than 30 days old. Well, wasn't able to make that. So anyway, I, I got it in under that range. Uh, did a little research, found that um, nine of my friends on Untap gave this a cumulative score of 3.94. 20,000 people have reviewed it so far on Untapped, given it a cumulative score of 3.81. Not bad. Beer Advocate has 169 scores, giving it a cumulative total of 4.0, which on Beer Advocate scale is exceptional. This particular IPA has a 7.2 ABV and has 68 IBUs. Uh, American IPAs usually become in, come in between 5.5 and 7.5 on the ABV. Once again, this is 7.2, so making a little towards the higher end. And uh, the IBUs usually come in around the range of about 50 somewhere around 80 for typically for an American IPA. Uh, this one has it at 68, so it's about the midpoint. Um, <clears throat> and let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you about this, uh, about these, this particular beer or brewery. You know, I don't. I don't have anything else to tell you. Uh, once again, if those of you who view the, the channel regularly know, it's an IPA, and uh, there's certainly no shortage of IPAs in the craft beer scene, particularly those who are in my price point. Um, I, I am a fan of IPAs. I like IPAs a lot. I like bitter beers a lot, but uh, I sure would like to see some other varieties made just as available, just as easy to get as the IPA. But hey, what are you going to do? So, I'm going to be using my stone stemmed IPA glass. Love this glass. And let's see what color this pours. And from what I'm seeing on the camera, you are actually seeing very much the color of this beer. You're seeing a very true representation of the beer. Uh, in fact, yeah, that's that's roughly the same color, whether, uh, whether it's here in person or there on the camera. It looks to be about the same color. I can already smell the tropical fruit. I mean, I, I haven't even given it a beard wipe yet, and I can already smell the tropical fruit. So let's do the beard wipe, see what we can come up with. Uh, tropical fruit, that's for sure. I like a combination of pineapple and coconut and uh, papaya and mango and just, just all those big exotic tropical fruits. Uh, let's put my nose directly into this and see what we can come up with. Now some of the hop is coming through, a little bit of the yeast even I'm getting, a little bit of that uh, uh, bready smell. This is very, very hazy, and I'm going to describe the, the carbonation is probably, well, even low. I was going to say medium low, but I think this is actually what I would call low carbonation. It is hazy. You cannot see through it. The head seems to be very resilient. I am getting some of the yeast, as I said before, but mostly, like I said, it, it's just the, uh, it's largely the tropical fruit. Um, let's see if there's any more description of this telling me what fruits to actually expect. No, nope, there isn't. There is not. So, I don't know specifically what tropical fruits were in this. This is apparently a series. I did find out that there's a, uh, um, there's a can of bliss, uh, hazy IPA coming too coming soon, so apparently it is a, a series coming from Oscar Blues. All right, well, let's, uh, let's quit talking, let's start drinking. Cheers. Mm. 
That's a good beer. That's a really good IPA. We've got hoppy bitterness, but it's actually sort of tempered with the tropical fruit sweetness. It has a creamy aftertaste. I'm going to describe that as about a medium mouthfeel. Um, just the slightest alcohol burn. Just enough to actually say that there is one. But certainly not substantial. Uh, so it rolls around the tongue and the, and the flavors start to uh, settle on the tongue. <coughs> I'm getting lots of hoppiness. Um, and uh, honestly, that, that's the, the state, that's the flavor that remains. There's hoppiness, then it's followed by uh, the fruitiness, the, the fruit sweetness, and the aftertaste is still part of the hoppiness. However, there's a creamy finish in there too. This is a hell of a beer. I gotta say, I'm really liking this a lot. I'm thinking this deserves a four point, well, I was gonna say a 4.5, so since it's in a can, those of you who watch this channel regularly know that I'm a big fan of cans and usually give uh, a beer a 0.25 uh, extra grade when uh, I'm reviewing it. If it comes in a can and this is just an all around great beer. I mean, it's a beautiful color. It has that nice, resilient head. Look at that lacing on there, gang. Look at that. That's for an IPA with only a 7.5. Or what did I say? I'm sorry. I think it's not 7.2. Excuse me. 7.2 ABV. Normally, to get that kind of lacing, you have to have a substantially higher uh, alcohol amount to get a higher sugar amount. But um, this, is, this is a hell of a beer, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you're an IPA lover you got two bucks burning a hole in your pocket, you need to get yourself down to Total Wine and pick up one of these. Because this is a great beer, and I will be, every other, uh, uh, every other cannibalist beer that they'll be putting out, I will definitely be trying. So you can be expecting uh, reviews for those coming out. Mountain IPA, I just noticed it says up here, Mountain IPA. I'm telling you, the IPAs, that's the thing is, everybody, it's not only are they making IPAs, but now they've, everybody's special version of IPA. Guys, I love you. This is a great beer. And brewers, I, you know, I, I appreciate everything you're doing. And I know it sounds very strange to say this again when I'm giving this beer a 4.75, but um, you got to come up with some other varieties, brewers. you got to come up with some other varieties. In the meantime, the Cannabis Tropical IPA from Oscar Blues Brewery is an IPA you've got to check out. So gang, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.